Dear students, now we are going to discuss stability problem in feedback amplifier in detail. Now we are going to analyze the stability of the feedback amplifier. For that we can consider the feedback amplifier with a gain A, which is a function of frequency. This is the basic structure of feedback amplifier. The source input is Vs. The actual input to the amplifier is Vi. The output voltage is Vo. The feedback signal is Vf. Here A is the open loop gain of the amplifier. Beta is the gain or feedback factor in the network. Okay. So next we have to consider the closed loop gain that is gain with feedback in the amplifier. That is represented as AF is equal to A divided by 1 plus A beta. The product of the gain of the amplifier and the gain of the feedback is known as loop gain. At low frequencies, the loop gain A beta becomes a constant value and also the positive number. So here we can maintain the stability. Okay. At high frequencies, loop gain is a complex number. And it is represented in terms of polar form. So here the above equation can be written in terms of complex number. A f of j omega is equal to A of j omega by 1 plus A of j omega into beta of j omega. So this is for high frequency range. Here the loop gain can be represented as the magnitude value along with the phase. So loop gain varies with frequency which will decide the stability of the system. Here we can define the stability problem or stability analysis of the feedback amplifier as the method in which the loop gain varies with frequency that determines the stability or instability of the feedback amplifier. Okay. Next one is condition for stability. As we have already discussed, the loop gain A beta in the denominator of the gain formula will determine the stability of the feedback system. So here, the poles that is nothing but from the denominator of the transfer function. So here, poles of the transfer function determine the transient behavior of the system. Hence, the poles define the stability of the amplifier. So this can be derived from the loop gain equation. Okay. For stable system, the poles of the transfer function must lie in the left off of the complex frequency plane. It is very, very important for stable system. The poles of the transfer function must lie in the left half of the complex frequency plane. Okay. So for that we can consider two methods. One is Nyquist plot. Another one is Fourier plot. Okay. I hope you have already studied these two topics in control systems engineering. So we are going to use this two plot to define the stability of the feedback amplifier. The first one is Nyquist plot. So here the Nyquist plot is an approach for testing the stability of the feedback amplifier. It is a polar plot of loop gain A beta with frequency as a parameter. So this is the general diagram of this Nyquist plot with respect to this omega. So in this direction, this omega that is frequency is negative. This direction, the frequency is positive. So here in this one, this is omega at 0 degree. Here it is omega at 180 degree. Okay. The Nyquist plot intersects the negative real axis at the frequency omega 180 degree. So this is the frequency at which it can intersect the real axis. Okay, real axis in the negative side. X axis is the real axis. Y axis is the imaginary axis. So here Nyquist plot intersects the negative real axis at the frequency omega 180 degree. Okay. So here this point is very important. This will decide 
whether the given feedback amplifier is a stable or unstable. That point is minus 1 comma J0. Okay. Next, stability condition using Nyquist criterion. In this diagram, the Nyquist plot intersects the real axis just right to this center point minus 1 comma J0. Here this minus 1 represents the magnitude of this loop gain A beta. So if it is, if this Nyquist plot intersects the real axis right to this point, then this A beta value is less than or equal to 1. Hence the system is a stable one. So in this diagram, the Nyquist plot intersects the real axis to the left side of this point minus 1 comma J0. Here the magnitude of this A beta value is greater than this 1. Correct? Hence the system is unstable one. Do you all understand this? If the Nyquist plot intersects the real axis left to this point minus 1, it is a stable system. Right to this point means it is an unstable system. That's what given here. If this intersection occurs to the left of the point minus 1 comma 0, the magnitude of A beta that is modulus of A beta is greater than 1 and the amplifier is unstable. If this intersection occurs to the right of the point minus 1 comma 0, here the modulus of A beta is less than or equal to 1, then the amplifier is stable. Do you all understand how the Nyquist plot is used to analyze the stability of the feedback amplifier? So these two conditions can be given like this. The amplifier is unstable if the curve does enclose the point minus 1 comma J0. The amplifier is stable if the curve does not enclose the point minus 1 comma 0. Okay, so this is the overall locus diagram. The locus of 1 plus A beta, that is the modulus of 1 plus A beta is equal to 1, is a circle of unit radius with its center at minus 1 comma J0. Okay. Next one is stability analysis using Pode plot method. It is one of the simplest and most effective method to analyze the stability of the feedback amplifier. So in this Pode plot method, we have to consider the frequency at which 180 degree phase shift occurs. So at the frequency of 180 degree phase shift is represented as omega 180 degree range. Okay. So at this frequency, the magnitude of the loop gain is less than unity. So here we can represent that value as modulus of A beta is less than 1. This is the condition for stability. Correct? So we have to achieve this condition at frequency with 180 degree phase shift. Do you all understand this? That's what given here. At frequency with 180 degree phase shift, the magnitude of the loop gain A beta is less than or equal to 1. This is the condition for stability of the feedback amplifier. In this Pode plot method, there are two types of margins used. One is gain margin, another one is phase margin. Gain margin is the difference between the value of A beta at the frequency with 180 degree phase shift and unity. Do you all understand? It is the difference between the value of A beta as 1 and the value of A beta with 180 degree phase shift. Its unit is dB here. This gain margin represents the amount by which the A beta value can be increased while the stability is maintained. So in feedback amplifier, we have to design with a sufficient gain margin to maintain the stability. Do you all understand? So this is the diagrammatic representation of gain margin and phase margin in Pode plot method. Here we can consider two graphs. Okay, one is frequency versus the magnitude of A beta. The next one is frequency versus the phase angle. So in Pode plot at the frequency, 
for which the a beta value is equal to 1 that is unity then the magnitude plot crosses this 0 db so here at this point the magnitude value is 0 db then here the phase response okay so here in this one at this unity frequency the phase value is less than 180 degree so this is the phase value of 180 degree which cuts the phase plot then we can take the respective value towards this gain we can get the respective frequency at which 180 degree phase shift occurs do you all understand this so at this point the modulus of a beta is equal to 1 at this frequency 180 degree phase shift occurs so gain margin is the difference between a beta is equal to 1 and that omega 180 degree value so this is what omega 180 degree value with respect to this a beta okay so this is the gain margin here in this phase margin it is the difference between the phase angle at frequency for which a beta is equal to 1 so at this point a beta is equal to 1 okay so this is the a beta is equal to 1 value and here that 180 degree phase shift so this difference is known as phase margin do you all understand this point phase margin is represented over here in Pode plant at frequency for which a beta is equal to 1 the magnitude plot crosses the 0 db line at this frequency the phase angle is less than 180 degree then the amplifier is stable the difference between the phase angle at the frequency for which a beta is equal to 1 and 180 degree phase shift is known as phase margin